Last time we looked at the first ever version of Brawlhalla. Today we're going to be looking at Alpha Build 0.2. Oh yeah, Orion has green hands. I found that if you go like this really quickly, you can like glitch out their hands and now he has green hands. But this version is a little bit different because there are now signatures. Every single one of these characters has one sig per weapon. As you can see right here, I'll go through them all in game, but you know, pay no attention to this different Cassidy. She's a little bit cursed. But there's also a coming soon with Queen Nye's silhouette right here, which is pretty cool. But the reason why I wanted to show off this one in particular is because unlike the first version, which I just could not get this to work at all, you can do a 1v1 if you disable the bots. The map will be an early prototype, it looks like, of Twilight Grove with some of the old map art from old Brawlhaven. But once again, every character has one signature per weapon, and that includes the weapons that they don't normally have in ordinary Brawlhalla. As you can probably see, the frame rate is not so great. I believe it's capped at 30 FPS. Sword down air, I mean, just every move is extremely weird. I believe this has like one act frame but it's huge as you can see my controls are super super weird they're not really working very properly I, I, if, I, if I press spacebar I don't jump so in modern Brawlhalla I had to rebind my W key to be jump and aim up because that jump and aim up button just didn't exist in early Brawlhalla but either way here is Bodvar's sword signature as you can see this move is does not exist in Bodvar's current kit but this is his sword move he does a little punch into a headbutt and then we're gonna pick up guns here with the unique Bodvar guns and you can see Bodvar with guns this is just how the game used to be. Every character could play every weapon and use every weapon. I don't know if you remember this, but uh, yeah, gun dare is, is quite the move and it's uh, a little bit, little bit bonkers, but this is Bodvar's gun's signature. He does a little headbutt into a blaster upward and these moves kind of don't work. Oftentimes you'll hit the first part of it and then the second part will just completely drop. So I wish I could just show you consistently all of them. I mean, I'll, I'm going to try anyway, but sometimes it doesn't pan out. Luckily that time was all good. I'll show off the other moves though. I mean, as I get to the other legends, I'll probably do it anyway, but this is the gun side signature and this is the gun end sig. As you can see, they're actually cross sigs, so cross sigs in the current game were uh, reused, repurposed uh, to be, or, or from these old ones, but those were the original and every character has it. That breakdance, every character has that sword breakdance. So if I pick up, uh, let's see, maybe I'll pick up the sword here. These weapon spawns, by the way, are super weird. All right, I'll pick up the lance, I guess. Uh, yeah. Bodhar has his own lance. This is the end sig. You kind of just go flying and then you send him backward. It's kind of a crazy move. And then the side sig looks exactly the same, except you just go, you know, you kind of shoot yourself into the stratosphere. But Bodvar's signature, his unique one on this kit, it's a big slam. I mean, what else do you expect? So far, he's just been a complete lunatic hitting things with his head. So yeah, that's his, uh, that's his lance sig. Completely unused in the current game, but quite the move. Funnily enough, I didn't even show off his hammer sig. Oh, perfect, a hammer just spawned, which is one of the only weapons he has. I mean, I guess it's out of two. It's not actually that big of a deal, but uh, the weapons that he has in the current game, but this one stayed. It's the signature bear, and this I feel like is pretty cool that it stayed all throughout these years because this is the Bodvar move. This is just the most iconic move in Bodvar's kit, and it's from all the way back in the early, early days. What's also kind of interesting is the side sig on the hammer. This is, again, the side sig that's on every single hammer kit is the same as Bodvar's side sig today. So this one was also repurposed. It got different animation, obviously different timing. I wish I could tell you how weird this game feels to play. It's incredibly laggy. I mean, I went over that more in the previous video, but yeah, it, it's not the easiest thing to handle. The way that you move around efficiently, efficiently, sorry, is by using moves like down air and stuff because there's no fast falling. If you down air on the ground, you do like a nice little hop. It's a whole mess. I tried to be fancy and do a modern technique there. Why would I ever think that's a good idea? Lance Nair, uh, <laughs> as you can see, is a bit more of a force field than it was previously. I'm not even hitting the Orion and it's still kind of hitting. Um, but I do want to show you the side save if I can get this Orion to come down here and hit it because that's, yeah. Oh, also a neat little thing is that you see this is Orion's blasters right here, but if I pick them up, now they are Bodvars. And so if you go into the models of the game, these are actually still in the game, I believe. All of these old versions of all of these legends, different tools. But we saw all of Bodvars, so let's move on to the other characters. Now, Cassidy has gone through quite a few redesigns in the history of Brahalla, and this is just another one to tack on, but her down sig is the down sig. It's the tornado. If you watched the last video, then you know that in beta, even when all the characters didn't have all their signatures and stuff, this is the one that stayed. So throughout Brahalla history, this has been the e uh, iconic. I was going to say iconic. I don't think that that's a thing. And we're not talking about like economics here. Uh, the move anyway. Her down sig on the lance is pretty interesting. I feel like it's pretty cool that they make them kind of fit the character archetype, even though they're still not in or they're not in the game anymore. But this is also a tornado. She kind of, you know, does a little kick swing here. You would think it kind of cyclones them in, I guess would be the word, and, and wraps them in until it, it launches them. But I don't know if there's the technology for that in this game yet. So 
that it, it kind of just is like a big active kicking hitbox. That's a pretty cool move. Let's pick up the sword here on Cassidy. I actually haven't seen this one yet, so I'm excited to see what it will be. Okay, it's kind of just thatch. It's like old thatch animations, I think. Uh, it, it looks like a swashbuckler a little bit. Uh, but the other sword signatures that everyone has, again, the breakdance that you've seen. And then I believe it's Bodvar's current down sig. Uh, let's give this a little test here. Yeah, so the side sig is like Bodvar's current down sig. Again, I wish I could tell you how horrific this is to play. It's incredibly laggy, but it's, you know, we, I'm gonna kill this. I'm gonna kill this Nash. I'm gonna win this game, actually. I've decided. No more showing things off. We're going, we're going full win now. And the way that I'm moving around the map is I'm just using moves because, again, it's, it's often more efficient. Uh, I do want to play gun though because these are pretty fun to use when you can go like that you know it's 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 like a it's like new year's day if you're a gun player you know cody travis is is having quite the good one i will say and that somehow ko'd i have not shown off the gun signatures yet either which is why i want to pick these up wait okay i was really scared that i was gonna ko her signature her unique one on the guns is her side sig that's in current patch it's uh, pretty interesting that a lot of them, I think a lot of the signatures in this early version of Brahalla stayed around and you can kind of see remnants of it in all of the Legends kits, uh, especially Orion, who uh, I have a feeling you guys are not going to want to see this sword signature. Just a feeling. Something that's kind of funny is sometimes when the weapons and everything spawns in at the start of the match, they just don't work. Like it falls off the map sometimes and they don't actually spawn in properly. So that, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't understand. Weapon spawns, I guess, are contentious uh, from back then even to now. But this down sig on the blasters, or I guess, I don't know if he, I should even say down sig because it's like his only sig. Uh, but the signature, you'll notice an animation that's kind of familiar. It's like thatch. I, I'm sure, you know, you, your brain just expected cannonballs to shoot out there, but no, it's just a forward little laser blast and plasma there. Uh, and that's pretty cool. It's pretty neat to see the animations as well as moves, you know, get, get overhauled and reworked and everything like that. Hammer down sig is a little bit remnant of Scarlet. You can see that that first, uh, or that second hit rather, is, is a little bit like it. But yeah, otherwise, I don't think there's a move that's super, super like this in the current game. It takes a while to come out. It's very slow, but if it does, it definitely packs a punch. I mean, that's everything in this game. Yeah, okay, that's that's a perfect example of what I was trying to describe when I was playing Bodvar, is sometimes the moves just, like, don't work. Also, sometimes you can just cancel the fact that you got hit if you just mash attack fast enough. That down air KO'd me somehow, because, yeah. Anyway, I mentioned the sword sig, so let's take a look at this sword sig. Get ready, because I'm sure your ranked, uh, ranked brain is not gonna like this one. There it is. There it is. It's the spear side sig, but on sword. Imagine. Imagine. I know. It couldn't get worse. It could not get worse. Orion with every weapon. Actually, I don't I don't even mind Orion, so I don't know why I'm saying this. But uh, his end sig, you'll notice, or his down sig, is like the end sig in the current game, but a little bit different. It kind of powers up this lance and then shoots out a tiny, literally tiny blast that just doesn't hit. Maybe you're thinking it probably should have been kept that way. Who knows? I don't know. People seem to hate Orion. But uh, yeah, at least it hits grounded. Moving on to Lord Vrax now, and Vrax, he's pretty cool. I mean, he's got <laughs> that, which, uh, if we're talking about stuff that isn't in the current game, I mean, nothing is even like this. Like, what is this move? It would be kind of cool if he had it, I guess, currently, but I have a feeling that in modern Brawlhalla, with the amount of movement you have, this would be incredibly underpowered because you're just stuck there forever. But it does KO in, like, two hits, so that's something. With the hammer, Vra I mean, Vrax is just cool in general. He has all of these, like, lightning effects, but it's Sentinel. It, it, it's Sentinel. And again, this is one of the examples of like old characters kind of having remnants of, uh, wow, uh, of some of these older signatures, I guess with the exception of Cross and Val, who are, I would say, on the newer side. Um, but because they swapped to having the two weapon system, they had all of these underused assets or, or not used any more assets that they were able to apply to newer legends, and they still show their face today. So even though this version is years old, this is from 2014, this was before, before I was even born, uh, there's still a lot of stuff that is in current for Hollow, which is kind of cool to see. Again, uh, a lot of the baseline ideas of the moves, the way they actually function in practice is completely different compared to a modern Brahalla, but still the same ideas are there, which I think is really cool to see because you can kind of see the vision, da vision from early on. All right, now that I got the Lance, I can show off the final signature, which I think I showed off before, but it's his current end sig, although this hitbox is, I, it's unreal. I, yeah, yeah. All right, we got Nash finally, although I guess technically he's he's Throlk for speaking, uh, you know, his, his actual name. I mean, I was saying Orion the whole time when it's actually Volst, but, you know, well, well actually, it's not a... Uh not that important but he's basically just a brute all of his moves take forever and because i just died because they take forever oftentimes they don't hit so you saw that gun signature uh i'll show it off again this is a three hit move 
but you can just be interrupted at any time. Like, even if you hit it, that last hit almost never hits. But then when it does hit, it just kills instantly. My flux is turning on, which is lagging my game even more. Okay, we're, we're gonna turn that one off. Um, but yeah, all of his moves are just incredibly laggy, incredibly slow, but just KO for no reason. Like, I just I just KO'd the Bodvar for no reason. I didn't even hit him. That's the power of, of Nash. But just case in point, I'm gonna hit this down sig and like, just see how long it takes for the final hit to come out. That's that's uncharged. That that's just straight up uncharged. And if the first hit hits, it only connects the second one if the person is like hit perfectly, because otherwise it just sends them too far up. Because of course it does. But yeah, it's he's just I, I don't know how to describe it. He's got Bodvar Sig though. This is Bodvar Sword and Sig. I can probably do something stupid here on, on Twilight Grove if I, if I hit them into the wall. Maybe some nice wall combos and you know some edge guards. That somehow worked. And I I can't dodge upwards, so I just die. That's that's cool. I feel like I should probably show off the the actual hit effect of this down sig because it's 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 ludicrous. I just can't I can't explain it. If I can somehow get this bover to get hit by it, I was able to hit this in the free for all before I figured out I could one v one. It's just it doesn't it doesn't make sense. Uh, neither does that though. So all right, one more stock. I can give it another go. Hopefully, I can just show this off. If I can hit it right here, I should be able to show it. Yep, yep, yep. So there it is, there's the second version of Brawlhalla, I'm the Cassidy by the way, in, in case you can, you can see, although there was the one fourth indicator for when I have my pickup, I don't know why it says one fourth by the way, to be clear, I'm not, I'm not knowledgeable in these here parts, uh, but it's pretty fun, I will say, I know I'm giving it a lot of flack because I'm comparing it to modern Brawlhalla, but it's unfair to compare it, I mean you're comparing a game with like five years of development to like the second version from six years ago, I don't know how this is somehow older than the amount of development that current Brawlhalla has, that doesn't make sense, but I've never been known to be an expert in math anyway so who, who cares at this point i don't know point is is that this is actually pretty fun to play and if you can find someone to play locally with you or maybe there's something like parsec i don't know if you can do those give it a spin because it is quite a blast i mean everything is broken right literally everything is broken from the mechanics itself i mean the the, the hits itself don't even work properly half the time but it's still a lot of fun. It's kind of dumb fun, you know? And you can really, again, kind of see the vision of what they were going for. It's kind of nostalgic to go back and play these old versions. Even though I didn't even play back then, it kind of reminds me of the olden times of when I was just first starting out and everything was new. That was insane. I'm kind of a god, somehow. It, that was also unintentional. I definitely held to the right when I threw that, but I'm gonna take full credit for it. Um, but yeah, it, it just reminds me of experiencing Brahalla for the first time and Maybe next time I'll play the first version that I played. I, I feel like last time, because I- Wait, I'm actually crazy! Sorry, anyway, I was just saying that uh, last time I picked out a few different versions of Brahalla to try out. This time though, I wanted to see what would happen if I just spent more time on one of them, go a little bit more in-depth. So hopefully that was enjoyable and hopefully you enjoyed the video. But either way, that's gonna be it for me. Take care everyone, and let me know if you ate a sock this morning. Why do I- Shut up!